Hello, welcome once again. Today we'll discuss another example. First, let me start Visual Studio 2010 Professional Edition. Here it is. Today I'm going to discuss an important part of the C sharp coding language why uh, here you will come to know about how to type cast the string to a character array and vice versa uh, the name of the project as you can see is encoder because it is aptly so as you will find it is encrypting or say it is just transferring the string that you will be giving as input into something that is not readable by the normal human form right let's open it well here it is um, the layout is very simple well this is the form uh, I'm using the classical window style that is the windows forms you can also do it by using uh, Windows Presentation Foundation or WPF well this one is the Windows Forms and this one is text box one here text box one. this is the label this is the progress bar sorry for the delay this one is the progress bar and here is the button one the standard one that I will use for encrypting this is the output string right now well let me make some changes this one is the I want to first of all I want to make this multi line sorry right let me pull this one ta da and this one similarly to multi line. Why I'm doing this multi line is I want to take a big character array or a string as input. Similarly, let me do this. Yep, done. Here we'll provide the input, and uh, this, this one is something that I will talk later on what this progress bar will measure <coughs> sorry and this is the button that will encrypt and this is the output right now let's go to the program straight the coding part here it comes well this is the declaration part public partial class form on form this is the inheritance part right this form that I'm declaring the entire code that has been written this entire code that is just a derivative of the entire class that has been already declared under the Windows forms and that is the this form and my form one that I'm generating is nothing but a derivative of that class form right uh, for example take this one uh, you are using something called as uh, progress bar one dot maximum here progress bar one dot maximum right now this is something that is, is inbuilt now, when you are typing progress bar one dot maximum now well if you are typing this in a say a text pack uh, it doesn't make any sense what is progress bar one they don't know what is a progress bar right it won't make any sense but when you are defining that when you are defining public partial class form one form that means this form one is nothing but a derivative of their public class that is form right and partial of course now I have taken two strings string str1 str2 character input this is not required but still I would uh, like to do it for those who are coming from C and C++ background those who consider strings as the nothing but a well an array of in characters right 
here it is the text box one text changed this one if you give some input over here right just over here then that is text box one text changed what happens that is an event that I provoke right there is an event that I provoke and that event will lead you to this that is I store the text box one dot text that means whatever input the user gives I will store it in the name against str1 gotcha now let's move on button one click here this is button one when you click it what happens this is what happens this entire code input this is another variable str1 dot two character array what was input input was nothing but the character array it simply gets typecasted here well let me put it in this way ah my keyboard convert string to character array fine now progress per one dot value equals to progress per one dot maximum into hundred into input dot length well this is a very <laughs> primitive type of programming you all are familiar with progress per one dot value this means the value that this progress bar will proceed the green thing that keeps on moving it will proceed as per the input length that means it will just denote that how much length you can enter right fine that's fine that won't be a problem just let me put this in this way this one is sorry this one is not required right got it now we'll go to str2 well now here is the main part for this is a for loop if input i that means I'm picking one character at a time I'm just converting the s key value and I'm modular div dividing it by 2 if it's equals to equals to 0 it's quite familiar if it's an even number as simple as that and input i will be equals to input i plus convert dot to care 1 1 has got a character value right this is the ASCII value right now 1 will be having one equivalent character that will be representing 1 now that will be added to the this value this input okay or else this will be one minus fine now from that what happens actually you just shuffle through the code that means if you are entering say a then this equivalent ASCII will be 65 now 65 will be sorry 65 will be something that is that will come to this else part right that means it will get decremented by one now if I take P that is 66 this will be evaluated by this part that will be increased by one that means you just in interconvertibility A becomes B, B, B becomes A C becomes D, D becomes C right now we are forming another string